light behind you. Ah. Oh man, this place is kind of creepy. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Besides, we got a good deal on it. Yeah, I guess. Dude, check this out. You think it's loaded? Put it in your mouth, pull the trigger, and we'll find out. Ah, oh, look at that. What is that? It's an old book. Looks like a diary. Diary? Let me see this. I love diaries. <laughs> What's it say? I tried to warn them. I tried to warn them all, but nobody listened. Maybe you will listen to what I have to say. You are standing in the very shed that a uh, serial killer viciously slaughtered his last two victims. What? That's crazy, man. When was it written? Twelve years ago. That'll explain why the rent was so cheap. <laughs> Shut up, dickwad. Besides, it couldn't be this shed anyway. There's not even any blood stains or anything. Dickwad? Yeah. It's junior high. Well, I'm gonna continue reading. I don't know, dude. What? Are you scared? No. It's just... It's a little creepy is all. Sam, it's fiction. Fiction. Whatever, dude. Not true. His mind has been brainwashed. He does not realize who he is, what he's doing, or why he's doing it. His destiny is already predetermined. But just like yourselves, he was warned. And just like yourselves, he did not listen. The hell's that supposed to mean? I don't know. It's getting good, though. Shall we continue? Hey man, I need a ride? Prior engagement, a car pulls up to him. Pondering the invitation for a second, the killer accepts and enters the man's car. So which way are you headed? Well, I'm going to the next town, so I can at least get you that far. That's all right. Not much of a talker, huh? Oh man, I, I don't smoke. Can you put that out, please? I cut firewood for the <coughs> for the locals. <sighs> what do you do? That's right. You don't talk much, huh? Don't you gonna get rid of that? Look, man, I'm gonna stop the car. What happens next? I don't know, let me see. The killer drags the unconscious body along the ground to a nearby vacant home. He has stolen the hapless victim's chainsaw. He begins to slowly rub the chainsaw up against the shed. What the hell was that? Hey guys, what's going on? I didn't mean to scare you. We were just reading this book and uh and we thought you were uh uh never mind. Hey, 
Your mom called. I got to take off. She's got dinner ready, so. All right, Dad. Thanks for your help. Uh, let me walk you out. Uh, no, don't bother. I know my way. You guys take it easy. Love the new place. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. Like I said before, Slowly, the killer approaches the shed to the vacant house. Perfect place to chop up his victim into a thousand pieces. Slowly, the killer opens the door to the old shit! I tried to warn them, I tried to warn them all, but nobody listened. Maybe you will listen to what I have to say. You are standing in the very shed in which two serial killers viciously slaughtered their last victim. Their minds have been brainwashed. They don't realize who they are, what they're doing, or why they're doing it. Their destinies are already predetermined. But just like you, they were warned. And just like you, they did not listen.